Oh well, I really am just getting sinky, sinky air. There's a big power line below me. There's definitely a thermal here. Today I'm going to be focusing on more thermaling flying tips. As the sun bathes the slopes of Mount Caburn, Carlo prepares to take flight with his Scala 2 paraglider and aero harness. His mission, to seek out thermals and climb away from the hill where the boundless expanse of the sky awaits. Bit of a long shot, but I spotted some birds climbing out front. Might put me down, but they seem to be climbing quite well. Carlo decides to push out, following the birds and leaving the hill and other pilots behind. If he doesn't find any lift there, he'll end up in trouble. Not climbing yet. I'm right over the landing field now, so... If I don't go up soon, I'm going to go down. It's a small core. Kind of one of those ones that shoves you in and out. So in this kind of situation, it's especially important to climb as optimally as possible. Feels like I'm reaching an inversion, which is why the thermal's getting broken up. If I'm lucky, the thermal might break through that inversion and I might get into much better air. On the other hand, if it doesn't, if I don't fly optimally, and I'll drop out of it and I might just end up landing out short and then have the pleasure of watching everyone flying over my head later. <laughs> A few moments later. Oh well. Any birds climbing around? I really am just getting sinky, sinky air. And some birds flapping around, there's some lift ahead of me. But I'm about 100 feet from the ground or 200 feet. Carlo lost the climb, and at this point, it is extremely hard to find any lift so low above the ground. However, if he wants to keep flying and avoid landing in the fields, his only option is to search for any source of lift. That would be his last and only ticket to get back up and carry on. A bird going up in front of me. Got a big power line below me. I was going up and then not anymore. There's definitely a thermal here. With power lines beneath and weak conditions, Carlo must ensure to get the most out of the lift possible using weight shifting and precise brake inputs. If he loses this lift, he will be grounded. Well, the thermal feels quite good at the moment. Got a bird of prey that's coming to join me. Hello. Oh. The bird of prey thinks it looks alright. One eternity later. I think I was at about 400 feet or so above sea level, maybe even a bit lower than that. So now I'm in a much better position to glide on. Carlo got lucky this time and managed to climb away from almost certain landing. Now his goal is to reach the cloud base. So what I'm going to do now is actually there's a there's a scrappy cloud there straight ahead. It's not a very good cloud but that's the nearest one I have and I'm going to try gliding towards that so now, as I'm tracking downwind, I'm not just gliding completely blindly, randomly. I'm just, I'm looking at the cloud, taking into account the wind drift, which my instrument, my Skytrack's here, particularly has got a nice wind indicator on it. And using that to judge, oh, there we go, <laughs> where the next level might be. Another one is, feeling the way the air is pulling you. So I actually, 
I could feel the air sort of pulling me. I was pointing in one direction, it was pulling me to the right. So I actually turned the glider slightly towards the way it was pulling me. Because the thermal tends to draw the air into it. Paragliding is often a game of patience. Only those who can keep their minds sorted have the chance to fly beyond what at first looked impossible. It's a bit of a funny old thermal, this. It's like in and out, in and out. It's not very good, but that's the best I had. And that's a key thing. You're not always going to look out for perfect. I can see on my sky tracks there, I'm approaching the airspace where it drops down to three and a half, but I'm only at 1,900 feet and the highest I've got so far was 2,300 feet. I must say the Scala 2 has got a really good, gives really good feedback and feeling about what's happening in the air, tells you what's happening. I'm just getting up in this climb, approaching cloud base. So what I'm doing is exploring around. This is a technique for trying to find a thermal that you just lost. So I'm exploring around to see if I can find it again. It is possible, it just kind of stopped there. But it's more likely that I've fallen out of the side of it. Doing out and returns, going downwind is it's wonderful fun and you obviously cover more ground that way. But then you have a lot more problem, a lot more time and hassle getting back. I found some really nice lift. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna try and step climb and push my way back upwind. So to do that, the basic theory is pretty simple, really. I've got to try and climb as best possible in every climb. Much more important than when you're flying downwind. So I've got to really make sure I'm in the best bit of climb, which is, this is pretty good. It's now about three meters, averaging three meters per second, which is the best climb I've had all day. I really like having a helmet with a visor forgot my sunglasses and all I have to do like today to get the sun and the wind off my eyes is that and yet it's a bit squeaky I need to oil it or just loosen it up a bit no I don't it's fine and it makes me look like a fly Bzzz. Bzzz. I'm now getting the sort of bumpy bits you get the air is going a bit more lumpy I'm getting more sink now that could be two things. It could be that I'm getting into where the thermal is. I think it's quite possible. The other thing is I could be going back into the, the sea air. Oh, starting to get some lift. Oh, there we go. With not many clouds around and very on and off conditions, Carlo has to explore a lot to find good lift and try to reach his goal, the cloud base. Can he make it? All I'm doing now is turning around and there's a good bit of lift. I know I'm getting up to near cloud base and the edge of the lift as well, so... Sometimes as you go, and it's, I mean, this climb is actually very smooth and nice. You just have to really, sometimes you go out of the climb, it can be a bit choppy. So what I'm going to do is just glide out now so I just kiss the cloud. Right, that's all for now. Over and out. Mork signing off. Nanu nanu. Bye now. Paragliding will take you to places you never thought were possible. It is a never-ending game of learning, improving and exploring the endless possibilities. <laughs>